Limo slash party bus drivers of Reddit, what's the wildest thing you've ever witnessed happening in the back of your ride? During my college days, I worked as part-time limo driver to pay off tuition. It was normally business as usual, like hen nights, prom nights, etc. Though one particular night I will never forget. There were about 7 girls extremely drunk and high on God knows what in the back seat. They had me take the partition down. We were talking, and one of them dared me to stop the limo on the side of the road, and if I do so, she will fuck me right there. Being young and stupid, I took up the offer. I got out of the limo, so did she. I bent her over, and pulled out my extremely erect penis, and lifted up her dress. To my extreme shock, her vagina was impossibly huge, so huge that would put a horse to shame. At this point I turned her around, and look at her face. Then I realized, that she was your mother and there was no serious tag on this post. A friend of mine, and I took a cab home last week. When we got in, the driver asked, if he could take a minute to just sit there. He was clearly upset, and after a couple of minutes of silence he starts yelling about what he had just seen. Apparently on his way to pick us up, he had seen several cop cars chasing a guy on a motorcycle at relatively slow speed. Eventually some cops got in front of the guy, and blocked his only way forward, so the guy came to a stop. Despite this, a cop behind him then rammed into the back of the stopped motorcycle, sending the man flying. The driver witnessed the guy's head hit a fire hydrant, so he almost certainly died. The entire ride home this driver was livid. He went on and on about how the entire city is run by crooks, and everyone from the police to the city officials to the business community basically run the city, like they are the mob. He finished off by telling us his story that he said, was 15 years ago. He picked a woman up, and when she got in she was crying hysterically. He tried to calm her down, and ask what happened, and she told him, that a police officer had just raped her. He obviously was alarmed and asked her if she wanted to go to a hospital or something. She replied that she had been arrested for prostitution years before in Los Angeles, and because of that cops regularly raped her knowing that nothing would ever be done about it. I live in New Orleans, so none of this surprised me. Some friends and I were pretty drunk downtown once, and when we got in the cab to go home, the driver turns at us and goes, you guys are completely wasted. We all kinda gasped and stopped, like we were in trouble or something. After an awkward silence he goes that's awesome. Glad y'all called a cab. Not a limo or taxi driver, but I used to be a valet driver, and was called to valet a wedding one time. One night I'm working a wedding and most of the guests had left. The groom and bride had a decent amount of people staying at a nearby hotel, and had a shuttle running guests back and forth. The last remaining guests were smashed, and were furious, because the shuttle was taking forever. I had made a decent amount of money, and I was about to pull out of the wedding hall, when I decided to pull around, and ask if anyone wanted a ride. Sure. Everyone is smashed, and they had a 30 rack slash jack in the back seat. I said I would drive them to the hotel for $60. It was almost 1am, and I was trying to get home. Anyway, the chick in the front seat grabs the aux cord and starts blaring heavy death metal. Whatever. They are hungry, and persuade me to stop at a 7 to 11. Two guys get out and immediately piss all over the 7 to 11 windows. Somehow no one saw them, and it took them 30 minutes of roaming in the store before we left. At this point, the two girls in the back seat start speaking in a southern accent, blacked out, and lighting cigs. They were toast. What have I done? We go on our way, and get to their hotel. They all pile out, beer cans all over the ground. One girl proceeds to yak everywhere but not in the car. One of the guy congratulates me, says I'm the best taxi driver they ever had, and throws me a $100. I was 18 at the time, and it may have taken forever to get them home, but it was one interesting night. I have a friend that's a cab driver. Told me once that a guy got in, and asked if he could smoke crack. He immediately told him no. The guy then gave my friend $500. My friend told him, just to make sure nothing got on the seats. So I'm not the best storyteller, but I did see something odd as a limo passenger. Freshman year of college my friend hired a limo with a stripper to celebrate his birthday. Well we are freaking pumped because, you know, we are 18 and horny, and going to party in a limo with a naked chick. 
the limo gets there, and the driver had arranged to get us some liquor, since we weren't 21 yet. So we hop inside the limo, and get ready to drink, only to discover the stripper had already opened up one of the fifths, and drank a good bit of it. Oh well, right? Let's all have fun. Well, the stripper wanted to have a little bit too much fun. She gets plastered, and instead of dancing sexily she starts falling down on the ground she's so drunk. She falls at least 5 times and rolls around the ground laughing. Finally she falls forward on the birthday boy, and as a natural reaction he raised his hands to shield himself. Unfortunately for him, she lands right in his lap and I don't honestly know what he touched, but she thinks he violated rule hash 1, no touching. So without warning, without discussion, this girl rears up with a look of absolute rage, pulls back her arm and clocks the birthday boy straight in the face. He gets this look of absolute shock on his face and a guy next to me screams at this girl to stop. She looks at him, and then punches him straight on the jaw. We all start hollering, and the limo driver pulls off on the side of the highway, and makes the girl get in front. He apologizes, says he'll knock some off the price. Not really the night we were hoping for, but whatever let's just try, and enjoy the rest of the night. So, the stripper is now in the front, thank god, and there's one of those glass dividers between us. It's not solid black though, and enough light passes through to see shadows. We are still talking about what happened, and watching them through the glass, and we can see they are arguing, and not more than a couple minutes pass, before we see the stripper slap the driver across the face, while we are barreling down the highway. Without even a pause he gives it straight back to her, and punches her back right on the cheek. We don't say a word, but are just staring up there waiting to see what happens. Surprisingly the stripper seemed to calm down a bit after that, and it looks like they start talking again. Then, within 5 minutes, we see without a doubt the stripper shadow going down on the driver. Smoothest part of our ride right there. Wasn't a driver, but a partaker in the party. Some girl could not stop throwing up everywhere, because she had been drinking, and had motion sickness. When I say not stop throwing up I mean not stop throwing up. It's like she had 8 for 5 hours straight and digested nothing. Party was over after that. Wish the bus driver had a party shower. Some idiot pulled out what looked like a 357 revolver after she got drunk and fired it. She was really drunk and pulled the trigger hard enough. The bullet went through the door into some grocery store. Nobody was hurt, but she was taken to the police station. Never heard of her again. I drove limous and trollers for about 6 years. I live in a big college town too. One night, I had about 35 people in the trolley, heading to an after bars party. The cardinals had won their division earlier that night, so everyone was pumped. As I was driving, this absurdly hot chick walked up front, and asked if I'd seen her rally bird yet. I hadn't, because I was driving. She proceeded to drop her shorts and drawers and showed me she had shaved the cardinal in her perfectly manicured pubes. Gave her been a courtesy flick and kept on trucking. The other story I have was upon dropping some girls off at their dorm. One of them engaged me in conversation the whole drive back, which was always nice. When we got to the front doors, she tried to crawl through the privacy window while her friend tried to pull her out through the back door. All drunk he turned and yelled at her friend, I'm not leaving until I suck the driver's dick. He's going to fucking marry me so I can suck his dick. About that time, some other wing women came along and seriously dragged her away while she fought back to give me a beach. So my dad is a taxi driver in Houston and he picks up some man. He drops him off 23 miles away and as they get to the place the guy bolts without paying. My dad is a god fearing man and says what ifs. The very next day my dad is leaving our apartment building, and guess who waves him down? Yup the same guy, that didn't pay the day before. My dad stops, and the guy hops in. He tells my dad the address not realizing he was the same taxi driver. My dad drives to where the guy tells him, but pulls over in the middle of the highway on the way there. He confronts the guy and my dad swears up and down to this day he has never seen anybody get as red as that man. The guy fesses up and pays three times what he would have paid the day before. My dad only accepts the actual fare and returns the difference. He then dropped him off at the place he wanted and my dad hands him a business card and says god bless. Hotel shuttle driver. 
Last summer I shuttled a wedding party to a local restaurant for the reception. They were super nice people on the ride down. On the way back it's always a different story. They were pretty inebriated and wanted to keep going, so they asked if I could run them to a liquor store. I gave the usual well we don't usually bullshit to encourage a bigger tip, and when I finally said sure they were pumped. So one of the guys in the back yells Sarah, show him your tits, and they all start cheering. I glance up in the rear view to two giant hooters hanging out of the top of her dress. I start dying laughing, and the bus goes wild. $20 tip as well. True story. TL. Dr. Hotel Shuttle Driver Who Saw Hooters. This is a long one. Back in late 2008 was, was part of a military funeral tasked with rendering honors of recently deceased veterans in the state of NC. We had two funerals to do that weekend and we did what almost anyone else does. While out of town on company business, we drink to excess and make bad decisions. It was a long drive from Eastern NC to Asheville, where the funeral was held, and I decided to grab a cheap bottle of vodka and some cranberry juice for the ride. I had sobered up by the time we got there, and one of the people in charge asked me if I didn't mind being his DD for that night as he would be paying my cover charges and buying soft drinks for keeping him out of trouble. We had hoped to a few different bars to find one that had a fair surplus of XX chromosome types. Over the course of the night I watched him get turned down by a well below average woman, cock blocked by a lady in a wheelchair, and pretty much strike out. I was sitting at the corner of the bar watching this all happen when a kind young lady that was a little curvy starts talking to me about how she wants to take me home. I politely decline because I have to work in the morning, but the real reason is that I was recently married and had no desire to cheat on my wife, good wingman move. As closing time bears my lady friend had misplaced her keys, so we offered her a free and sober ride home in the government can that we arrived in. As we leave the bar, I walk a little ahead, and she takes my friend by the arm, so it is all looking good for him. As we are making our way to the van, she says that she needs to pee, and awaits next to a VW Beetle parked on the side of the road and drops her pants, classy. As soon as she is done she proceeds to pull up her pants, and walk into the bar across the street, to order another drink, before they kick her out, closing time being what it is. We finally make it to the van and my buddy starts making out with her in the seat behind me as I'm driving. His one request is for her to blow him, but she refuses. He's eating her out, fingering, fucking, and the whole 9 yards 2 feet behind me, but she will not blow him. After arriving at the hotel they hurriedly dress and we all go up to our respective rooms. My room just happened to be next to his, and we enter at the same time. As I'm entering my room she turns to me and says hey, where are you going? I tell her that I'm going to bed, and she goes in with my friend. I can only imagine what they did once in his room, but the guy that, in sharing a room with does not believe a single word of this story. After we wake up we get into a dress uniforms and my roommate goes to the van to put his stuff in as I'm standing on the balcony having a smoke when he turns around and shouts up to me WTF and holds up a matching set of leopard print lingerie. Almost on cue, my friend and lady in question walk out of his room and she gets the cab ride of shame. Last year my brother got married at a winery. The 20 passenger limo bus was filled with his mechanic and engineering buddies slash bridesmen slash groomsmen. Yes. 10 dudes L. 5 on each side, because my sister-in-law is bad as tomboy. Everyone besides me and my wife noticed the front tire of the limo bus was worn to the steel radial threads. I asked the driver, while smoking a cigar with him, nice guy and former marine, why the tire was so worn. Apparently the owner was a cheapskate. On out back to the hotel, 7 slash or so miles, the tire blew on the highway. Fucking panic. This dude played it off like an ice patch, and pulled us over. He had the hotel shuttle there in 6 minutes. Fucking top notch badassery. TL. Doctor, marine saved wedding party from certain death. Also, I didn't spill my wine. Good day. I drove a cab overnight in the Houston area for 3 years. I've seen slash been a part of a bunch of crazy shit, but the wildest world been the night I was requested to drive a bachelorette party around. I was driving a minivan that night, only had seating for 6 with me driving, but I managed to fit 8 women inside. I took them bar hopping all night and they proceeded to get hammered. 
between bars they are playing truth or dare in the van. So I get to witness all sorts of drunken debauchery, from girls flashing body parts to three of them making out. I've had them in and out of the cab for a couple hours when I'm asked if I'm involved with anyone, to which I honestly answer no. The dares start involving me between bars, I get head from the girl in the passenger seat, then get asked to pull over so the bachelorette can give me a lap dance. I don't complain about any of this and the meter is running the whole time. Finally the bars shut down for the evening and I take these ladies back to their hotel. It's about 2.30am at this point. Once we arrive, all of them except two, pile out of the van, and make their way inside. The to that stick around pay the fare, tip me $100 on top, and then ask what time I get off, saying some of them had early flights, and will need a ride. I tell them, that I'll be off around 7am. But I'll just be chilling at the office until then, so if they need rides, they sh- I'll call the office. To which they reply, well, if you're not going to be doing anything, why don't you come up to our room, until you get another fare. We'll pay for your time. And that's the story of how I got, paid to be a part of a threesome.